Alright, today we're going to be covering Portal 2. Uh, I'm going to start a new game. And, um, covering the up to chapter 1. <clears throat> and also going to be uh, covering various achievements uh, that you can get in the levels. I'm starting a fresh game. Um, one of the achievements I already unlocked, but I'll bring it up uh, when we come to it. And uh, make sure to check the video description, and I'll be posting uh, you a full guide down there, more. so with more yes. information. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. All right, so Good. this is just going to be our buzzer. introductory you hear the buzzer, to the game, the basically. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. <laughs> you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You can kind of start to tell already that uh, the humor from Portal 1 has come injury. back again in this version. If you staring at art, the sequel. not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> Good. Now, please return like to your that. bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call. Hello? Anyone in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment. Hello? Ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look. Te um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please slow. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. Alright, so obviously prepare. something's gone stay wrong. Alright, don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. <laughs> Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question you don't think. that you <laughs> might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. You just, uh, jump, you just, you just jump. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Uh, All reactor core safeguards are port. now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? And I don't really think you can die in this part, but uh, I figure it's a safe bet to stay away from this collapsing side of the just, just gotta get through here. Uh, structure we're in. I, I just got to concentrate. <laughs> and whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. <laughs> okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. 
Okay, almost there. Gotcha, On dude. the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. <laughs> Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Alright. <laughs> That's a manual override. And uh, this is a achievement I unlocked, but this is um, you are probably where you get wake up call to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. Uh, let me show it real quick. Um. Yeah, wake up call. That's the manual override, and you also get the uh, portal two hat for that uh, for your but, avatar. Um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Roger, dude. All right, so jump out of here, and then down through this class. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance. And this is uh, course zero zero. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna go through this portal. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science. Even in a dire so you gotta do is step on this button, pick up this cube with the X button, and then the drop it here. Are very oh, and if you couldn't tell, we're <laughs> playing this on the 360, which Please is something that to know. But... Particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Alright, all you do is just get in this little tube thing and relieve the level. On to next if track. You feel liquid running down your neck. Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material this is track zero one. may have emancipated the ear tubes <clears throat> inside your head. Alright, so first things you take this button, push it on the right side, and this opens up a portal in here. Get our cube. Come back through. Push the button again on this side this time, and now uh, the portal switches to uh, inside here. And then we can come back through once more. Push this third button over here. Good. And now we've because come through on the, the other side. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, <laughs> please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Also to be on top of the elevator. <laughs> All the initial courses are pretty easy. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to it. Alright. Step on through. Now we're at course two. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about it. No, that's right, over by the podium, yeah. Oh! <laughs> you step on that, it's gonna collapse. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? By the way, uh, if I miss any achievements uh, in these initial walkthroughs, 
uh, you'll see them as responses in the video. And this is pretty interesting. Curious as to who drew this shit. You just uh, fire a portal anywhere on the white wall, and you can step through. Head up around here. Yeah, we've got the portal gun now, but you can only fire um, Some one emergency portal. testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Fire Rest one on the wall, all military and it will come through on this side. And provided with one copy of the laws of robots. To share. And then... Oops. Actually... Alright. There's a cube we need. Ta da! So, yeah, I just fire a portal underneath the cube and it'll come out that red wall. Now we're at course four. Uh. What? Are any undeserved compliments? portal anywhere on the wall there you can jump through <clears throat> some interesting stuff up here and just step on through Most of the courses, uh, as you can tell, are pretty quick. <clears throat> okay. If the so now we're on a course five. With fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Alright. Oh. So as you can see, there's a portal here. So you just need to fire a portal from that uh, room that we were in. does that do? Okay. Got the cube now. So we're gonna put it on the pad. Now we can get up here. <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, I see what we're gonna do. Yeah. So push this cube thing, uh, and then push this second one, and then this wall will come up and stop the cube from falling off. And then just drop it on here, and well we're done. good to go. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, onto course God six. Oh. Yep, that was the sound of a portal. Fire one, step on through. All right, I 
think I know what we're gonna do here. Hurrah. Now we got the cube. Fire another portal down there. Whoa! Jump through with the cube. If you are a non Set it down on the button and you're good to go. Facility amid the ruins of civilization. Welcome. And remember, right. testing is the future, and the future starts with you. All right. So you see our next stage. We got this portal down here. And let's see what we got to do. All right. Looks like the gonna have to put a blue portal here and just leap through this one and get launched all the way over here. Alright. We got this big device, got a cube to pick up. Where do we need to put the cube? Okay. up there. Interesting. Okay. Um my screen around. Blue portal over there. And go leap to Whoa. Sit down the cube. Now we've got this platform. Let's move our portal up there. Wow! Launch ourselves through. Good work getting this far, future star. Now we're good. That said, if you are simple-minded, bold, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you. Please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. <laughs> uh, nothing better than insulting robots. <laughs> all right. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Says, please remain calm. <laughs> You're completely backwards. Uh, oh, our friend is back. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage. Are the real heroes in the end, aren't they? At the end of the day, brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Do what the man says. Okay, listen. Let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here, so. Get ready to catch me, all right? On the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it? Really? That. All right. Going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay. Ready? One. Catch me! Get ow. Ow. Ready? Go. I. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. I don't know what stick he's talking about. Go on, just jam me in oh, over there. Oh, here we go. Um Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? You can turn around now. 
Bam! Secret panel. Not open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. And off we go. Alright. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um just follow the rail actually. <laughs> you don't say. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. Hello. Effective robot. I think this is supposed to be an achievement, but uh Uh, I guess not. Must be the wrong robot. On to the next step. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. All right, so, she? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off, she's off. Don't panic over, she's off. All fine, on we go. Oh, so this is uh, Gladys. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. So that's the remains of Gladys okay, from the original the portal. Jump! This actually, look at it. That is quite. A, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got. You've got. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. <laughs> all right. So far, this is just a bunch of walking around. Not really. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I should done it again. Wow. That's a long fall. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something and it doesn't say escape pod, wow. look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Alright. Well, Let's put him in here. That's, uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Right. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh oh. <laughs> Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's, a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just. Uh oh. Not a problem. A A A A A. Um. A. Okay. A A A A A C. Guess who's awake? Start writing these down. Power up complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right. New plan. Act natural. Act natural. We've done nothing. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, 
after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh. oh no! No 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Yeah. Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. <laughs> but I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. <laughs> I will say though, Our buddy. since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. <laughs> uh oh. Gladys is back. Hmm. <clears throat> room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. <laughs> so this is some familiar ground. <laughs> Little robots and things. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. Now we, we have the good portal, portal gun. Device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Orange portal here, blue portal there. Once uh. testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Alright. Let's put a portal over there. We're just bypassing all this debris right now. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of portal black here. box quick save feature. In portal the event there. of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. All right. After all, there's another we've portal got a up on this wall do, here. And only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. All right, orange portal in that room, and we can jump through this one. Nineteen. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you are back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Alright. And, um... This is that. We're out of here. And Gladys is back. And that's the end of chapter one and the start of chapter two. And um, I'll be uh, posting a follow up video. Um, with chapter 2 stuff. Uh, so check that out. Alright, see you guys later.